Hello guys, so this is an introduction to Illustrator CC and this is basically um, an uh, introduction to the interface itself and we will go through some of the tools involved in Illustrator creating vectors. Now Illustrator is a vector drawing application. It's different from Photoshop which deals with raster images so Illustrator is really known for creating logos and vector drawings and any sort of illustrations that um, that you may want to create. Now what we have in front of us is the application frame itself and on this top bar here where you see the menu items this is called the application bar. Under that we have the control panel to the left here we have the toolbar and to the right we have the palettes or panels available to us right now first off illustrator has preset win um workspaces set up for us so if we go to window workspace right now I'm in essentials classic we could change it to layout and basically this would change the panels on the right here available to us and if we change to essentials classic you would see that the panels change also um, some tools in the toolbar here also um, change right so if we were to go to typography you'd see that the toolbar also changes on the left um, and also the panels on the right something to note that this is a new feature in 2020 um, earlier versions of Illustrator don't really um, change the tools on any toolbar right so for now I'm gonna keep it on essential classic right because it's the one I'm most comfortable in and um, it shows the basic functions of Illustrator right so when we click these double arrows it expands and contracts the panel windows available to us here right so keeping these two open would show you what panels you have available now you could get extra panels or the panels that you require for example I'm not seeing Pathfinder here we could find it under the window menu and Pathfinder and if we were to click it it would pop up here right so this would be the Pathfinder panel right to get a transform um, which is also very important but let's close that for now so that is basically what the illustrator workspace looks like these tools here are broken down into different categories but basically we'll go through them at a later tutorial but for now this is the general feel and look of Illustrator that we have so what we're going to do is learn to create a document so to create a document in Illustrator you go to file new and at startup you get a window looking like this now we could quickly choose what we want here legal letter or we could go into these settings um, in the menu items here like film and video art and illustration print web and we can change these to suit whatever application that we want to to do for example if you're building an uh, icon or something for web you would use these settings here but for print we will change to print because this printer will work in CMYK as web will work in RGB right um, also the resolution would be different web would be 72 dpi or PPI and print would be 300 by default so for now we we'll keep it in print and we could say um, we could rename it here as um, new first okay first doc and the width and height is set to default because um, we have a template here we selected that's letter but we could change the 
points to inches to see the eight and a half by eleven, the orientation, landscape and portrait. We can we can leave it at landscape for now. And I'm gonna just change the artboards to about five just to okay, six, just to show you what that does. And we're gonna leave the bleed for now. Now the artboards basically creates multiple copies of a letter size paper in this case. Right? So we have here one letter size in the back of this window so if I were to select six now and hit create you would see that it creates six artboards of equal dimensions and we call it first doc but let's go back to um, our initial document so I'm gonna close this and we are going to now look into how to resize an artboard so in your properties panel on the right hand side if you're not seeing it we could um go to window properties and make sure it, make sure it's checked off we could go to edit artboard and then editing the artboard now we could expand or contract the artboard as we desire right and as you can see here the width changes in the values here so we could change the see it set change the seven points second way to change the height to also change so we could put it back to eight and a half by eleven and this would this would be eleven and this would be our default paper size or letter size I meant to say paper size I meant to say letter size I mean so this is how we create um, and modify artboards now in creating vectors and artboards you don't really need to create the vector on top of an artboard for example let me choose a blue a red color here with um, a black stroke and we'll choose a rectangle and I'm gonna click and hold it here so now we created a, a rectangle within the artboard however we could choose to create our vectors outside so in this case I chose uh, ellipse and I could hold shift and make a perfect circle here outside of my canvas and um, basically you could create anywhere anywhere on the space here your vectors and your vector artwork to delete a vector you just select it and hit delete on your keyboard and that's how we delete objects from our artboard